Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Have any good time and come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies but goodies. You guys, you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited today. So first and foremost, shout out to everybody who wants to be a cat because they asked me to review this pink powder from Lorac. I haven't used Lorac makeup in a long time, so I was happy to see that they have a pink powder and we all love the Huda Beauty pink powder but it's been sold out literally since it released. I'm like let's get another option of a pink powder. So this is how it looks. Well the box. I purchased mine for $30 but I just saw that it's available at Ulta. Oh look it's matte. And this is not a talc free powder because I just checked just to be clear about that. Okay this packaging is very nice. This is how it looks. I love a good like new powder. <laughs> oh my god, where did the box go? Wow, how does one lose something so quickly? And the packaging is like the you know the square that like Huda Beauty's powder is, and the cap is literally the same. Oh my god, crazy. Okay, I do have my makeup on, so let me tell you what I have on so we get the party started. So I started off with priming the skin with the e.l.f. power grip primer. I had to buy another one, you guys, because it's so good. So I added that all over the skin to get that good sticky effect. You guys know we have oily skin. I let that dry down a little bit. Then I went in with the Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer to take care of these pores and mattify the skin a little bit. I followed that with the Givenchy Skin Caring Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade 5N335. Added it all over the skin and blended it out with my IT Cosmetic Love Foundation Brush. And then I bronzed a little bit with the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in the shade Happy Soul. Added it on the cheeks just to give us a little bit of color. I followed that up with the Rare Beauty Cream Blush, Liquid Blush in the shade Hope. Added it very much on top of the cheeks, close to the under eye area. Talking about under eye area, I primed that area with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I use it for my under eye so we don't get as much creasing. Then I went into color correct with my light yellow LA color corrector. You guys know I got dark under eyes. Then I concealed with the Milk Makeup Future Fluid Concealer. I'm in the shade 10W. Added it all over the under eye area so we get a good concealment going. And here we are now ready. I like to show you what my skin has so we can just have a full effect on how the powder works. All these cream products I know and love and work very, very well. So before we get started, let me give you some info about this product so we get to know it a little bit. The Lorac Pro Loose Setting Powder, it comes in four shades. This is a finely milled ultra blurring pro loose setting powder that delivers a natural light diffusing effect while instantly smoothing in perfection and minimizing the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles without flashback. It is lightweight for a second skin finish or dry throughout wear. Formulated with Centella Asiatica for anti-inflammatory properties, silica for a silk-like finish, and vitamin E and C to help balance skin tone and protect against UVA damage. All right, now that we have all the info, let me get rid of all my creases right and you guys know we are going to do a flashback test and then i'll explain what that is later if you're not familiar with it so let's see how this powder looks it's not as finely milled as i would like it to be you know what let me show you on the phone so you can see okay you see how it looks it is kind of finely milled but it doesn't look like it like when you first put it on the cap but then if you like spread it out you see that okay that's a good sign that's a good sign it feels very gentle it feels very lightweight also guys i now officially film for youtube and tiktok on in like the same setting just because it's more efficient when i first started doing it it was super hard for me not used to it but now i'm like a legit pro i'm like good job you know Okay, we're gonna get rid of the creasing. I'm gonna get my powder puff. I like to set with my powder puff because it's just the best way, honestly. I just feel like it gives us the best result. So what I'm gonna do is look straight ahead, set the under eyes first, look slightly up, look back down, and then set the rest of the skin. Ooh, this tone is nice. It's blurring too. It feels very, very, very lightweight. 
So what I'm doing, I'm just like tapping the powder over the cream bronzer and cream blush. Damn, the skin looks very nice. Okay, look at this. You see like that smoothness? Oh my, pores wear. And look, you can see my pores. I mean, not that visible because I have primer, but you can see like a little bit of texture, you know, that happens. <gasps> okay, look at the under eyes. Like, you see that smoothness there? <gasps> Huda Beauty Pink Powder, who? <laughs> oh, let's get whatever remains. I can totally see it is finely milled. It just kind of doesn't look at it, doesn't look like it when we first see it like on the cap or somewhere. And a lot of times finely milled powders go on the skin so smooth and so silky. It's like you have nothing on the skin yet your skin looks flawless. There's no pores. That's why I always talk about finely milled powder. You want it to kind of look like powder, powder. Flour you cook with, a good reference to know whether a powder is finely milled. You guys know how I feel about powder. It has to set the under eyes, the lids. I have makeup on today, I completely forgot. And the skin. We can tell right now it's setting the under eyes beautifully. The lids, I'm sure it'll do the same. I am highly, highly impressed. The skin looks so smooth. Like, what the hell? I don't have the smoothest skin just because I have a little bit of texture and pores, but I'm kind of like, it looks like I have a filter on. I don't use filters. I'm in total disbelief, <laughs> but okay, cool. Let me tell you the time. Oh, it is seven o'clock. I'm gonna finish up the face, heat it up, and I'm done. Oh my God, I'm slipping my eye now. you guys oh my god i've been in a hot mission this morning and let me comb this hair you know how i just did my hairy my hair care i don't put product in my hair so a lot of times i rely on my like oils to slick these hairs back <laughs> oh, wow and before i forget my lip combo is this one right here give just released these lip glosses in all my love and this lip liner and do whatever just a good combo. Look how pigmented these are. So flashback, if you don't know what that is, a lot of times powder foundations or like mainly setting powders, when you take a picture with flash, you have this white cast on your skin. So that's why I always take pictures with flash so you can see whether or not we have flashback. I don't think we do, like the skin's looking way too bomb. If it does, I'm gonna be shocked and sad, okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, you see all my skincare in the back? Okay. Oh no, we don't. We look good. No flashback. I love how my skin looks. Like first and foremost, look at my under eyes. You see that smoothness right there? And let me just look up so you can really see. Smooth, smooth. There really isn't any creasing. Setting powders help the under eye area just smooth out. If you don't have like a good concealer or a good foundation, the setting powder is the one that just tops it off, locks it in, and blurs the skin. So I find setting powder is super, super important. You guys know my obsession after I... <laughs> I did my roundup of setting powders, but that's what you want in a setting powder. You want your under eye smooth, you want your skin smooth, and everything bronzer blush went on very, very nicely. I don't have patches. I didn't put highlight because I do have oily skin, and I just want you guys to see how the skin's gonna warm up throughout the day. But who? Who? How oh, pretty today. That was one of those days. Oh, and the pink shade. It's so perfect. It's not too pink. It's not too light and translucent. It like melted into the skin. You guys know we are brown skin here on this channel and sometimes things could just look a little bit too white or because the shade's not meshing, it looks like it's sitting on top of the skin. But this kind of just melted. Like it became part of our skin. 
Yeah, okay, anyway, I gotta go to work. Let's go to the car so you guys can see in daylight. All right, you guys, this is how the skin looks. Oh my God, look how beautiful. I just love how smooth the skin looks. Like my under eyes, everything. It doesn't feel matte. The skin doesn't feel dry or anything. It's kind of giving me my Derma Blend powder vibes. Like it's not matte, but it's not glowy. It's like that perfect texture. But you guys know, we're gonna do an all day wear test. Hopefully we don't look gastados at the end of the day because we do have oily skin. But I have a good feeling about this. And no flashback, girl. Hello, hello, familia. I'm back. It is 7.15. But of course, I did get some daylight sunlight footage at around 5 o'clock today. I was in the car because I was so busy today. I wanted to definitely do the check-in. You guys, the skin looks very smooth. Except for the t-zone the t-zone's very oily but of course i have oily skin but on the sides like on my cheek everything's intact blush bronzer foundation i was just so surprised how smooth everything was here and here we are 12 hours later you guys look how smooth the skin looks my blush was a little intense today but i was feeling it look there's no splotches no blotches no like um spots is that what i'm trying to say i don't know it's been a long day like my brain is like halfway right now you definitely can see my oils like i'm really really shiny you can see my pores a little bit though you know what? Let's look at the under eyes. They, they look good. There's a little bit of creasing, but they look good. They still look smooth how we started off. Let's blot the skin a little bit and see how we would look. Just hitting the T-zone. Gastada where? Don't we look like I started off in the morning? Except for my hair right here. This is like the perfect example of what a setting powder can do to your makeup. It just sets it so well and it kind of sets you up for the day. Depending on how good the setting powder is really depending on how well your makeup is gonna withhold anything. And today we can see I was super oily but still well put together, not gastada. I love the way it feels it's so gentle i love that it's not super matte so my dry girls can use it so we can use it in the eye area and it's not super super drying and that's one thing i find that a lot of smoothing setting powders tend to lean more on the matte side but this one is like in between it's not matte but it's not glowy it's such a gentle powder that's what it is I love this. You guys already knew. So this is available at Ulta. I'll link it down below. If I find it anywhere else, it will be linked in the description box for the usual and all the makeup I'm wearing today. But this is it, fam. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this powder? Do you use Lorac makeup? I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.